This video will show you how to remove the mantle on a Simons short head crusher using the mantle clamp designed by TriStar Design and Manufacturing. Shown is the mantle clamp that has been removed. You want to perform an inspection of the cover plate, the cover plate bolts, the clamp plate, and the burn ring. Notice the cover plate shows a little bit of wear on the edges, the bolts look intact, the clamp plate has not shifted and appears to be in good condition, and the wear ring has performed well and shows the expected wear. We need to remove the cover plate. You may need to use a chipping hammer to remove the debris around the bolts, then use a wrench to remove the, and discard the bolts if the threads are bad. If the threads are good and the heads are good, you can reuse the bolts. With the bolts removed, it's easy to lift and remove the cover. If the cover has not been worn too badly, it can be reused. The cover plate has done a good job keeping the dust out. You can see there is very little dust that is accumulated under the cover plate. Clean the dust out of the bolt holes and threads, spray anises on the bolts, and screw in the lifting eyes in preparation for removing the clamping plate. This next step is very important. If you recall, when we installed the mantle, we torqued each of these bolts down to 650 foot-pounds. We need to be sure to remove them in a pattern so that we don't end up overstressing the bolts. If you remove all of the bolts from one side or remove them entirely, all of that stress will transfer to the other bolts and it can result in breaking the heads off. Number each of the bolt holes as indicated on the chart and when you are removing these bolts you need to follow the pattern. This prevents the bolts from being overstressed and keeps the heads from being broken off. With the bolt pattern clearly marked you can use a torque multiplier or a large breaker bar to loosen each of the bolts. Be sure to follow the pattern and only turn the bolts about one quarter of a turn each cycle so that the pressure is gradually released off of the clamping plate. This will ensure that the bolts don't break off and everything is loosened evenly. Once the torque multiplier has loosened the bolts up enough to use an impact wrench, you are free to remove the clamping plate. With all of the bolts loosened, you can now remove the clamping plate. You'll notice that the clamp plate is no longer putting pressure on the mantle. Everything has been released and all of the pressure is gone. And it's really that simple. With the pressure released, the mantle easily pops off of the head and can be removed. We didn't have to do any burning of the mantle, any burning of the web ring, and everything pops apart. So let's compare the OEM model with the TriStar mantle clamp. With the OEM, you're spending countless hours burning the mantle just to get it removed. You don't need to do that with the TriStar mantle clamp. No burning is required. When you burn the mantle, it, quite often you'll damage the head. With the TriStar mantle clamp, you're not going to damage the head. No burning is required. Which do you prefer? At TriStar Design and Manufacturing, we work to make your job safer, faster, and smarter.